I just kind of got more connected to Judaism as I got older, and, and it was by being um, an artist who's Jewish and traveling around this country, you know, as a folk artist, I hop in my car and I drive around all over the country, and I'm in places like Nebraska City where I realize that I'm singing a song, you know, called Dark Refrain that I wrote in the desert in Israel, and, uh, and I explain, you know, all my songs before I play them, and then afterwards, at, at the end of the concert, people come up to me and they're like, you went to Israel? Like they're shocked. They don't. <clears throat> they don't know anything about Israel. They 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 watch CNN and they see a war zone. And why would somebody like me, you know, this privileged American, go out to this country? Um, and so I realized it was a it was a real teaching opportunity. And all of a sudden, I wasn't just this folk rock singer. I was now representing, you know, the tribe. And um, it was a real big teaching opportunity. And it and it encouraged me to learn more about Judaism because all of a sudden I was, I was being representative, just kind of in, inadvertently, just by being open about my experiences, which happened to largely be in part of being a Jew.